Today we're pitting Kling 2.1 against the world. And by that I mean we're going to compare some things like price and video quality against other popular models such as Runway, Luma and even Halo. And we're going to do it all within the Design AI video interface who have partnered with to create this video. And they have quite the range of video models to choose from so there's a link in the description if you want to check them out. And we're going to start off with image to video. I'm going to try two different images to really test out the abilities of these different models. But first we're going to generate the images we need right within design so we have more control over the output starting with their chat feature. Now if I decide I want to use the chat feature in design all I need is an image which I can basically upload an image here onto the canvas and it will appear here. And then what I can do once I've clicked that image is I can come down to chat editor and this can be any of the images you generate as well but I go to chat editor and I can essentially work with this image, add other images, and I can choose whether I want to use Flux Context or ChatGPT. So sticking with Flux first off, and I'm going to choose 16 to 9. I'm going to say something simple like, keep the girl the same, but change the background to a busy city street. Generate, and then I get an image here that I can double click to add to the canvas. Now notice how we've got a bit top and bottom. I'm going to remove the old image and change this back to 16 to 9 zoom out and we have our image and I can continue on the chat editor from there so maybe I say something like make the girl's hair blonde have her smiling but this time I'll just switch over to chat GPT just to mix things up a little bit go to landscape generate and again our image appears on the right over here but if we don't like that image what we can do is simply come back here go to the chat editor but this time I'm gonna go back to flux one context and I'll just say Make the girl's hair blonde, give her a smile, but leave the rest of the image the same. So I still go back and forth, but I don't like the results I get. So it's pretty simple. It's like using a chat GPT, but with a slightly different looking interface. I generate, and we're able to get this image here. So you can see if I go to my layers, we've been able to get a pretty precise changeover, and I can continue to edit from there. And I like to always mention to keep the rest of the image the same, so I only change the things that I want to change. And if I wanted to, I could even add a picture of a top here for it to actually use. But I'm going to generate for now. And now we have our image. And I'm going to just shuffle it to fill in those gaps. And we're going to start using this for a video. So I come over to AI video. The first one we're going to try is Kling 2.1. And I'm going to add my prompt. I have a woman on the street smiles, then her expression changes to surprise. And she places her hands on her chest. Cars are moving in the background and we zoom in on her face slowly throughout so this i want to really test how well these video models handle photorealism and facial expression so i thought this was a good test for this particular image using cling 2.1 and trying some of the other models let's see what results we get from that I click generate the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare cling 2.1 to the other cling models available before we move on and make some of the other comparisons now with the cling 2.1 video this actually looks pretty legit, and the cars are also moving in the right direction in the background. Kling 2, we get less movement in the background, also looks fairly organic. Kling 1.6 standard, she looks real, but looks like she's actually kind of faking the emotion. But switching it up to Pro, again, it looks like she's kind of faking. The video looks organic, but she doesn't look very authentic with her emotions, just the way she switches so quickly. And now to try our second image. I'm not going to go through the whole process, but I generate an image and I decide to put my face on it using Design AO's face swap feature. I then generated a background that was completely separate and used the various editing features to expand that background and use the layers so I could position everything on the screen exactly how I wanted it for my shot. So by using Design's editor interface and the AI tools available, I had a lot more control over the start frame because I could move and put things exactly where I want to and even generate them in separate pieces, which is the power of Design AI when combined with AI video. If you want more information on this process, then you can check out my workshop video linked to in the description below. Otherwise, this is our final image created with Design AI's image tools. And I think it's gonna be a great test of creating something a little more science fiction than just a simple photo. Now, following the same process as before, I'm gonna head over to AI video choose the image to video tab, make sure they choose Kling 2.1, and I'm gonna type up a prompt. I have the samurai ready for battle with his red lightsaber, looking around as the temple glows and pulses red light, clouds move and there is lightning in the sky. The camera moves slowly back, revealing a large cyberpunk temple. We're gonna start with Kling 2.1, generate some videos and see what kind of results we get from these different models. And Kling 2.1 definitely has some nice organic movement, the thunder, really nice scene but cling 2 
They're not too bad, but add some weird elements in there I didn't really like. But going to Klim 1.6 standard, I really like this, although not a lot happens. So the movement isn't as dynamic, but with Pro, we get a bit more dynamic movement, but it's just not quite as nice as what I'd get with Kling 2.1, which we're showing here again, just as a direct comparison. Now, one thing to consider is the fact that the all of the Kling models are at 720p, except for Kling 1.6 Pro, which is at 1080p. So it does actually offer a slightly sharper image than the others. But even with the extra sharpness, Kling 2.1 does a great job of kind of like making that a non-issue and the more organic movement definitely makes it the winner in my opinion amongst the other Kling models. Now I just want to quickly stop before we go any further to mention that I actually checked the design website after editing this video and they've added two more Kling 2.1 models. So hang around to the end of the video and I'll compare those as well. Now I did add the extra models into this pricing here. So you can see we go anywhere from with the 720p videos, 25 cents or 20 cents a video, depending on what plan, if you are doing a top up, up to pretty much double for the 1080p. So you get the extra quality at a cost, but I think it's still pretty cheap. Kling 2.0 is not very cheap though. You can see it's up to $1.50 a video. So you need to really choose your budget there. And considering you get 1080p out of the uh, you know Pro and Max, I'd probably go that way as well. Now that's pretty cheap compared to other all-in-one platforms. But also on top of that, with uh, with design, instead of just going straight to say the Kling website, is you get all the AI editing tools, the video lip sync tools, and all the other tools that allow you to create the layout you want in order to take more control over your video. But now let's move on to Runway Gen 4 Turbo. Now the video itself looks fine, but just a little bit of a fake reaction. It's very robotic, and if you watch it again, it just doesn't seem very natural, and there's not a lot happening in the background either. Especially once you compare it to the Kling 2.1, there's movement, there's a more natural body motion, everything is a lot better. But switching back to number two, and nothing much is happening. It's just kind of panning out, not really doing anything. And again, compared to Kling, with that more dynamic movement. Overall, I would say Runway was a little bit disappointing this time around. But uh, again, you can actually get a pretty cheap result by using Design at 31 cents a video. So it's still definitely worth checking out and using and experimenting with certain images. Now next is Pig's First. I actually wasn't expecting this to be as good as it was. If you look at it, she gets a very natural reaction and a nice zoom. There's some movement in the background. And compared to Kling 2.1, it's actually a pretty close call. I put them next to each other and they're still, they're, it's pretty much similar quality in regards to the motion. Even the image itself, I would say, pretty similar. But image two, it starts strong, zooms out, but then we get this kind of floppy lightsaber effect and it doesn't really end that well. But overall, it is uh, similar pricing. And again, you save a bit of money actually going through design. So Pix First is actually not a bad solution for your videos in the inside the design AI interface. Moving on to Minimax Halo, and this, this was a strong model there for a while, but the expression is a bit extreme. Uh, it just doesn't seem that natural. And watching it again, you can see there's a little bit of movement in the background, which is good, but she just looks a little bit too robotic. But going back to this image with Kling 2.1, you see how subtle and nice it is? When I tried it with Halo, I got this, where it just kind of sweeps off and takes you to some other scene. So that's a big fail there for Halo. But at the same time, this is a relatively affordable model at 37 cents a video, down to 31 on a top up. And also you actually get some camera controls, which I haven't tried here, but could be useful if you're looking for a specific result. In Luma, we have Luma Ray and Luma Ray Flash, which is a cheaper model. So Luma Ray, we get this. And again, a bit extreme, not really organic. Lumeray Flash is actually more natural, but the, it's just there's no movement and the fingers are a little bit weird. But moving on to image two, there's barely any movement here at all. So it's basically like a still image zooming out, but you move to Lumeray Flash, and there's this weird lightsaber jiggly thing going on. So definitely not super impressed with Lumeray here. Again, considering that one of the videos in the Lumeray section is almost a dollar a video, I'd probably skip this entirely. Lumeray Flash is a little bit cheaper, and to be honest, it's a little bit better. Now, one 2.1 is incredibly cheap, but also lower resolution. So the video is not too bad. It's a decent organic movement. Moving on to image two, this one's a little bit choppy and weird. Didn't turn out very well at all. But I noticed actually some camera settings attached to one. So I thought I'd try that, see if I get any better results. And I didn't really. It turned out a little bit weird, but that's what you get. It is a cheap model. You're only paying about four cents a video or even down to three cents a video. So it's great if you want to pump out a bunch and you don't need it to look supernatural or if it just needs to be abstract. And finally, for image to video, we have frame pack. And again, two models. We've got the first frame pack and this one I thought turned out really quite well. Very organic and frame pack fast. 
organic with a little less movement. The only problem is the resolution is just a little bit too low at 480p. Now, image two, it's not bad, but there's not really a lot of movement and moving to frame pack fast, we get a very similar video, but it's just not quite what I'm after. But overall, not bad at 10 cents a video. Definitely uh, worth a try if you're trying to get something, you might get a decent result if you don't need it to be super high resolution. Now with all that in mind so far, again, I think the Kling 2.1 and the other Kling models are actually the winners here. The next, I would say distance second would be Pixverse 4.5. You can get some okay results with runway, but if you're looking for a budget solution at a lower resolution, the frame pack models are probably gonna be uh, your best bet if you're looking to save some money on what you're rendering. So those are kind of my preferences and I, the ones I've left out, I probably wouldn't use much at all. But that's just my thoughts. It really comes down to your own personal opinion and really depends on the video you're trying to render. So you may still need to try a few of the models that I didn't mention. But now we're gonna try text to video. The idea of instead of using an image and a prompt, we're gonna use a prompt on its own to compare these various models. Now we're back again with this image and we're gonna head up to text to video. Now I've already copied the prompt, so I'm gonna right click and paste to see if I can create a similar video to before. Now there is not every single detail in here is not necessarily reflective of what's in this image. So it'll be good to see how text video handles this prompt. And again, trying all of the different models. Now getting our first look at Kling 2.1 Max here, this looks really good. And all of these videos actually kind of look like old video games, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but I could have prompted for it. And you can see, we get some pretty high quality results with Kling 1.6 standard. Luminary is this weird switch though, which I'm really not happy with. However, Luminary Flash, again, looks better. It looks like a good high quality video game. But essentially, all of these look relatively decent. They all look like video games. And I think with text to video, it gets a more natural result. And I'm really happy with Pixverse in this particular video also. But then moving on, we're gonna try the woman in the street who goes from smiling to surprised. And I'm gonna take the prompt from the image to video and copy it exactly. And then I'm gonna head into text to video and paste it into here to use the same prompt for text to video. So that way we have some idea of how these models handle pretty much the same thing. Uh, and But with obviously without that image at the start, it'd be interesting to see what we get, but maybe we just say a blonde woman on the street. So try and match it up to some degree. Now we'll say the movement in pretty much all these videos is decent. Kling 2.1 is actually probably the least impressive with movement, but the quality was amazing. Kling 2.0 has better movement, not as high a quality, but overall they all look pretty photorealistic. They all follow the prompt. It's just the image quality that seems to degrade as you go down through to Lumaray and Lumaray Flash and then continue on from there. And Minimax, which actually adds in some talking, which I didn't really want in there. And Pixverse, which I thought would do better, actually looks great, but doesn't really follow the motion too well. Now my personal recommendations or preferences here are probably more technical. The movement in pretty much all the videos look pretty decent. So I would still put Kling 2.1 Max at the top simply because it's 1080p. All the other models are 720p. But other than that, I would say, apart from the other Kling models, I would say Pix first, otherwise looks the best and the crispest. And I'm really not that impressed with Lumaray or, uh, or Halo in this instance. So I would probably go between those different models. But again, assess your points to see how much of a budget you have in regard to creating these videos. Now you see what I mean when I look at the credits of text to video and Kling 2.1 Max is 75 credits, which is not too bad. Kling 2.0 is the highest at 215 credits, but offers low resolution and it doesn't seem to be as good as 2.1. Uh, the movement was slightly better in this one, but that's just this one video. I would probably try it 2.1 first to get the higher resolution and the crisper uh, image detail. Lumaray at 146 credits. I would try this absolutely last only to see if you could get the results if you weren't getting what you want from something else because they're all 45, 50, 56, 37 is actually the cheapest. So you can actually get a lot better results out of these other models. And like I said, Pixverse is quite good and at 50 credits, you get a pretty good result there also. So definitely weigh that up and consider that how many videos you're actually gonna be able to create when using text to video. But I would say Kling 2.1 reigns supreme with the tests I've run today all on design.ai. However, I mentioned earlier, 
that they've released more Kling 2.1 models under the image to video. We've already covered the text to video. So how do they all compare against each other? So here's the one we've already seen, our 2.1 standard at 720p, which looked pretty good. But moving on to Pro, we get 1080p, and just as good is the movement, but a higher resolution. Moving up to Max, I feel like there's a little bit more emotion inside of that expression. So I would say that Max is obviously the best for the movement, even though they both share the same resolution between Pro and Max. So you do get that added 1080p resolution with Pro and Max, and they actually use the same amount of credits. So it really comes down to personal preference, I think, with this one. But now we go back to our original Samurai with Kling 2.1. And with Pro and Max, we get that updated picture quality, but both seem to have a little fade out at the end. Even with Max, picture quality is great, and then it does this little thing and fades out some images. So I'm really not sure if it did a better job here, although the image quality was a lot better, it probably just comes down to adjusting your prompt. So I might seem a little bit biased, but Kling 2.1 is definitely the best model that is on the Design AI website by a mile. And of course, if you want that added extra Pro and Max, just really finish it off at 1080p. Now don't forget what I said before, a lot of these models are pretty good. For example, if you really want to generate more videos on a budget, low resolution, frame pack is good. Otherwise you've got things like Pixverse. I've had a lot of luck with Runway in the past, but not so much today. But definitely check them out, have a play and see what your thoughts are. Also, what were your thoughts on the videos I showed you today? Did you like them? the same way I did? Did you have the same preferences as me or a difference of opinion? Leave a comment below. I'd love to see what you think. Otherwise, check out Design AI. There's a link in the description. And that is the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.